These boys are students in Fort Worth's Western Hills High School. What they're doing is testing themselves to see how far they can run in 12 minutes. It's a pilot program being conducted by Dr. Kenneth Cooper of Dallas. You'll remember he's the former Air Force doctor who wrote the best-selling books on aerobics exercise and, in fact, made aerobics a household word. 3,800 Fort Worth students have been tested. Half of those will go through the aerobics activities program. The other half will go through normal phys ed classes for 15 weeks. At the end of that time, both groups will be tested again. I asked Dr. Cooper to describe what he hopes to learn from the test. We're trying in Fort Worth to determine the effectiveness of their physical education programs, particularly in their senior high school programs. We're starting a program with the senior high school boys that hopefully will spread on into the senior high school girls and the other systems in the Fort Worth school system. What we're trying to determine is the effectiveness of their PE programs, yes, but then the level of fitness versus many things, absenteeism, academic, academic performance, and things of that type. When you go into a program like this, you obviously have certain objectives in mind. What do you hope to prove with the 12-minute test? Well, first of all, we're going to determine their level of fitness by the 12-minute test, which correlates very well with laboratory studies. It's measured on, say, the treadmill. But then we hope to be able to show that the students who are physically fit make better grades. And the students who are physically fit have less absenteeism during the school year from sickness. And maybe even show some relationship between drug usage and the level of fitness. That's what we hope to show in this program. Do you feel that uh, your program will gradually replace the uh, traditional physical education system? Yes, I, I think an, aerobic, an aerobically oriented program needs to replace the standard PE program. We've been doing studies all over the country, evaluating various school systems, and some school systems have superior programs. Other school systems do not. Those that do invariably have some aerobically oriented type PE program, which includes sustained walking, running, cycling, or swimming, something of that type. We have many schools in this country now that are using the aerobics program in their school system, and I think you're going to see a lot more in the future. Aerobics means, literally, living in air. Dr. Cooper discovered while in the Air Force that the true test to physical fitness is the quantity of oxygen your body will consume. He's continuing his studies here at the Institute of Aerobics Research in North Dallas, a nonprofit science center that's not yet completed. If the Fort Worth experiment works out, it'll be expanded to finally include junior and senior high students, male and female. From there, well, several states across the nation are interested in using Fort Worth as the model for aerobics programs of their own. Maybe sometime in the distant future, Americans may spend less money to recover from sickness and more time to keep from getting sick, possibly through aerobics. Jay Lewis, Channel 8 News on the Move in North Dallas.